Hello. I thought it'd be helpful to make a second video about integer division where we actually write down some information because sometimes that helps visualize what's happening. So we have this variable called num which is of type double and it has the value of 6 right now. So let's just come up with some sort of expression. So let's say 3 divided by 2 plus 6. So we're going to pop over here and so if I take a second and draw this out 3 divided by 2 plus 6 when working through integer division sometimes it's helpful just to take a second and write it out we see 3 is an integer 2 is an integer and 6 is an integer so 3 divided by 2 since they're both integers that's going to give up me that's going to result in a 1 because I'll chop off the decimal plus 6 so now I see that this is an integer, 1, and this is an integer. So 1 plus 6 is 7, and the result is an integer. So now we know that a num is a double. So that means 7 is put into, the val put into num. However, at this point, it's converted into a double. So num will actually contain the value, if we think of it like that, of 7.0. So if I open this up again, I just come over here, and I run this, we see we get a value of 7.0. So now, let's, let's do this one, 3.0. So if I pop this open again, let's erase what we drew here. So I'm going to put now, so now we have 3.0 divided by 2 plus 6. So 3.0 is an integer. Sorry, pardon me, it's a double because it has the point zero. Two is an integer, and six is an integer. So we see that we have an, a double and an integer, so the result is going to be a double of 1.5. Remember, doubles are larger number types, so if you have an integer and a double interacting, the result is always going to be a double. And we see that here. 1.5 plus 6, where 1.5 is a double and 6 is an integer, is going to result in 7.5, which is a double. So if we go back to our program and we execute it, we get 7.5. I hope that helped.